Okay, so this is for the next one. Next two, we're going to try to knock out beryllium chloride. So B E C L 2. Um, now, I, I formed that compound based on its ions, but we're going to draw it as if it is a molecular structure. Okay, and then oxygen difluoride, OF2. Okay, so uh, let's zoom in on beryllium chloride. 1BE, 2 chlorines. Beryllium is in group 2, so it's got two valence electrons. Chlorine is in group 7, so there's a total of 14. We have a total of 16 electrons we need to account for. So, beryllium's in the middle because it's the lesser of the two. Chlorine and chlorine are on each side. And you might hear my dogs bark here in a minute. Go ahead and make your initial bond. So, of the 16, we used two, four. Okay, and so of the 16, we have 12 left. We're going to put those as pairs around the outside atoms first. That's six. There goes my 12. Now, this is where you have to look and you're thinking, okay, well, beryllium doesn't have an octet, it doesn't have eight, but remember back at those exceptions. Beryllium is one of the ones that is okay with less than eight. And it is, um, it's actually okay with just four. So we're gonna leave the structure like this. And you're probably thinking, well, how do I know? Well, at the very end, we'll kind of go over the exceptions and kind of show you some trends um, for certain atoms, okay? But this would be beryllium's chloride structure. Um, and we're good. Okay, so oxygen difluoride. So one oxygen, two fluorines. Get six from oxygen. Two times seven, 14. So what we have is 20 total electrons. Okay, and so as you guessed, oxygen is going to be in the middle. Go ahead and make our initial bonds. Okay, of the 20, we have um, used four, so we have 16 left. Okay, we distribute around the outside first, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. And it looks like we have, we have used a total of, let's double count, uh, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. So it looks like we have four left. So these we're going to put on the center atom. I'm gonna put a bubble. Okay, and I only do that for the center atom and that's gonna help you out with the molecular geometry. And so this is what the structure looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna stop the video and we're gonna